Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So I thought I'd share with you guys a few major vegan food wins for 2019. And this year is still quite young, so I'm sure I'll do a few more episodes as the year progresses. But I was quite surprised and excited when I saw the headlines that Morningstar Farms is converting all of their veggie products over to vegan. And I say, this is about time. Like, what have you guys been waiting for? For those who don't know who Morning Star Farms are, they're an old school brand. They've been making veggie products for decades. And I remember seeing their stuff in my early days of trying to give up meat and eating their veggie garden burgers. And as anyone who's progressed onto veganism, who has looked at the back of the packages, sees in frustration that there's egg product in these veggie burgers. I guess I was pretty cutting edge decades ago, but in the marketplace now in 2019 with so many great purely plant-based products out there, it's not going to cut anymore. And I think Morningstar Farms realized it. So they have come out and pledged that all of their products will be fully vegan by 2021. But already they claim about half of their product lineup is vegan and 65% will be by the end of this year. So even if you personally don't eat Morning Star Farms products, and I don't blame you, most of their stuff hasn't been vegan, or if you don't plan to buy their stuff in the future once their vegan transition is complete, this is still a huge win because the, these guys service 25,000 restaurants and universities, hospitals. So if you're ordering one of their garden veggie burgers there now, and in the past, you'd still be eating egg whites. You know, so once they make their transition to fully vegan products, you'll get a fully vegan burger, much healthier for you, none of the associated health risks that come with eating animal proteins and the like. But where I see the, the biggest win of this whole situation is that they annually have been purchasing, get this guys, 300 million eggs for their egg whites. 300 million eggs. Think about how much animal suffering, chicken suffering goes along in that whole business. So. It would stand to reason that the, the chicken industry doesn't want to lose more money, so they will produce fewer eggs, have fewer chickens for egg breeding. It's a big win. And furthermore, it's a big win for, for, the, um, for the company as well, for Morningstar Farms, because egg prices have been in fluctuation for a long time. So this will get rid of that whole element and have a more stable plant-based ingredient to take their place. And I almost forgot to mention the environmental gains that will be had from switching to a complete plant-based product by decreased water usage, land usage, and carbon emissions. It's a win-win-win. That's what veganism is all about. So yeah, as I kind of hinted at earlier, I really haven't had much in the way of Morningstar Farms products in quite a long time because I've been vegan. And I remember enjoying their like sausage links and patties when I was vegetarian. So I'll be quite intrigued to see what their stuff tastes like in a couple years once they fully got the whole vegan transition happening. But one company that I've been eating vegan with for quite a while now is Chipotle. I've been going there for years and getting burritos and tacos and just having them make it vegan because it, they've got tortillas, they've got rice, beans, guacamole, lettuce. So it's pretty easy to do, but it's been super frustrating when I try to explain to the employees, yeah, I want to make a vegan burrito or taco, and they just don't get it. Without asking, they'll put some sour cream on it, or they'll ask me if I want sour cream or cheese. I said, no, I, I said vegan. I don't think they're properly trained to understand what that word means. Well, finally, they've made an announcement that they've introduced all new vegan and vegetarian bowls on their menus. Well, I haven't had a chance yet to get down to my local Chipotle and check this out for myself, but I went to their website homepage and here it is, the vegan bowl in all its glory. So I just tried to do a fake order here. I didn't go all the way to check out, but yeah, here it is, the vegan bowl, $7 and a quarter, not a bad deal. I remember their bowls being pretty filling and I don't know if they still do this, but I used to or just ask for some tortillas on the side so that makes it even more filling. One thing I'm kind of wondering about is the sofritas. See that first ingredient that they have there? It's not my favorite thing. It's their fake processed meat. I believe it's soy based. When I would go and get my um, vegan burritos and tacos, I would tell them to hold the sofritas. Just give me extra beans, extra rice, you know, the whole food plants that I like the most. So I'm wondering if they'll substitute the sofritas out for extra beans and rice in this vegan bowl. So. Keep following us, particularly on our Instagram. You can kind of see us go and you know get odd little foods like this. Follow us, Happy Healthy Vegan on IG. 
Man, this is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. There's just so many new vegan products coming out all the time. And the statistics bear out that plant-based foods, vegan foods, are winning globally. It's the fastest growing food segment out there. So whenever you hear some anti-vegan clown saying, ha ha, take that vegans. YouTuber X, Y, and Z have all quit being vegan. It's over. They show how it doesn't work. Well, the truth is the complete opposite of that. It completely works and the food industries are well aware of the growing interest in this in this trend towards healthier plant-based diets. So leave a thumbs up if you're excited to hear about news like this and I will report back from time to time with some more vids like this. You know, we're not always going to talk about like Joe Rogan and Steve-O and stuff like that on here. So leave your comments and thoughts down below. Let me know if you're excited about any vegan food products. Hey, if you're going to be around, we're going to be at the Natural Products Expo West in Anaheim this weekend checking out all the new vegan foods. So anyway, let, let us know if you're going. And I guess that's it. Until so next time guys remember let's keep it carb and it doesn't suck being vegan